fantasypoints.com slash plans and use the promo code score more one word score more over at fantasy points i am john hansen here to take a look at the number seven draft position and i bring up my draft plan because that's an article that i've been doing for over 20 years it started out way back in the day with a lot of hand holding due to popular requests i guess a lot of subscribers ask me to really map out like if i do this in round one then i'm going to do this and so on and so forth it's kind of evolved over the years but really the crux of the article is as i survey the entire landscape and i do it you know throughout the off season and really it comes into full focus of course here in august i like to maximize all my picks and get the best value and that is dependent on the player pool of course which changes every year and also the trends so what what why are you shaking your head you're welcome For example, this year, unlike last year, I'm kind of back in on running back where last year I was like, you know what? I'm going to be really, really careful at this position at the top of the draft and be in the wide receiver business. That was a good play overall, but this year is a little different. I think the top of the wide receiver class falls off a little bit, a little sooner than last year's. Part of that is... Justin Jefferson, for example, having a weaker quarterback situation there in Minnesota. So I do think there is a big drop off or a noticeable one significant after C.D. Lamb, Tyreek Hill, and of course, Jamar Chase. So that is when right after those guys are off the board, I am into going into the wide receiver in the running back business. I'm back. I don't know if I'll go running back, running back, kicking it old school, but I like the security of getting a young, durable, absolute stud talent, and they're a veil this year in round one. Of course, I'm talking about Brees Hall, B. John Robinson, Jameer Gibbs, and I put my guy Jonathan Taylor on that list. So let's take a look at how things fall for me in uh, a draft, a 12-teamer over on Sleeper. This is considering one quarterback starter, two running backs, three wide receivers, and I like to go with two flexes, one tight end, two flexes, which of course could be a running back, wide receiver, or a tight end. I do not worry about kickers or defenses anymore. So I think I'm going to lean running back most likely unless Jamar Chase uh, shockingly falls to me, which probably would mean that B. John Robinson and Brees Hall are off the board. So let me share my screen here and – with the help of our friends over at Sleeper, let's take a look at how I do, how I fare, drafting from the number seven hole here. We are PPR, of course. We'll start the draft right now and offer some live commentary. There's Christian McCaffrey or a Christian McCaffrey sprain. All right. Well, Chase almost makes it to me. So, man, wide receiver heavy board here, Tyreek, Lamb, Jefferson, Amon Ra, and Chase. So, obviously, this is a complete no-brainer. Well, it's actually not between Bijan Robinson and Brees Hall. It's really close. I, I actually have Brees Hall. High. So, we have a lot of wide receivers off the board. So, I am going to be lacking a uh, stud wideout. So, well... You know, I do have Olave here. I do have access to Chris Olave, and that's not bad. Well, he's young, proven durable. He's a baller. Maybe Derek Carr stinks, which he kind of does, but Olave is pretty good. Damn good. And he's got a huge target share, I would think. Uh, here we go in round number two. After going running back in round one, uh, I, I need to get into the wide receiver business, which I do in round two. Now we're up in round three, and I figured this would be the case. Travis Kelsey on the board. Eh, it's not bad, but I prefer the younger tight ends who are much more affordable. So I'll just try and sneakily grab Debo, who I've been, if you've been watching these videos, uh, taking left and right in preparation of Brandon Ayuk being traded, which would be massive for one Debo Samuel. So now I'm good at wide receiver with Alave and Debo. And of course, I'm set 
with an RB1 anchor of Brees Hall. So I'm not into Malik Neighbors. So here we are. This is a little interesting here. I'm not exactly sure uh, the right way to go here. This might be a spot where I go back to running back, actually, uh, as I – let me call up the actual screen here where I'm drafting. All right, so 32 seconds on the clock, plenty of time. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, Malik Neighbors, C.J. Stroud, uh, McBride – See, this is tough. Uh, this is really tough. I do love Devontae Smith, though, so I'll just take him. I've been back in Devontae Smith left and right since he's entered the National Football League, and honestly, I have no regrets. So I think that's a value in round four. By the way, uh, Kellen Moore, offensive coordinator, going to be lining him up inside more this year, creating good matchups for skinny Batman. I'm on the clock again. Now I'm good at wide receiver. I've got my anchor running back. Let's see who's avail. I don't like Tank Dell. I am a little good at, at wide receiver now. So this is a spot where I might consider Anthony Richardson uh, if I'm feeling a little frisky. The other pick would be uh, Kyle Pitts. Uh, I do believe in Kyle Pitts. I know he's driven people absolutely crazy. It's a tough call. I am good at wide receiver. Uh, I like to hold off on tight end, though, and quarterback. Uh, one more time, uh, do I have a running back here who gets me excited? No, because in the next round, I'm going to get access. So I will, in fact, go Anthony Richardson here uh, looking to get like a knockout blow. Uh, I take him as the uh, fifth quarterback off the board. That's not bad. Uh, I wasn't going to get a crack at Burrow. I would have gotten a crack, of course, at my other guy, uh, Jordan Love. That's my main guy. But I also like to draft a little differently. I don't want to have every damn video be the same players being drafted left and right. So now I did pass on tight end. I could go Evan Ingram. Uh, I, I could get – I really do need a running back, though. I mean, let's be honest here. So I'm going to hold off knowing I've got other guys, uh, and I will likely get my guy Ramondre Stevenson, who I'm high on. I'm not into DeAndre Swift this year. I don't trust him. Um, I'm going to go Ramondre here. Feel pretty good about it. Obviously, he is king in that backfield. Competition got worse this year, believe it or not, with Zeke Elliott out of town. So now, you know, certainly a lean toward tight end, but I'm not going to force it. Uh, let's see where we are in the draft. We're, we're like pick 75. I don't like Brock Bowers at that spot. I'm not into David Njoku this year. I liked him last year, actually. I got lucky because Joe Flacco bailed me out. Uh, not going to do it this year. So I'm going to hold off on tight end. Uh, I've got my QB. So obviously it's either do I go back to running back or do I get a wide receiver? Uh, a lot of these guys are similar. Ridley, Hollywood Brown, not bad. I don't like Deont uh, D Hop. Let's see who I have here on my watch list. Yeah, I've got those two guys. <sighs> it's not, not the easiest call here, honestly. I'll go um, – hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go Ridley. I think he's going to be the alpha there. Uh, I think um, DeAndre Hopkins is obviously slowing down. He's going to miss time. I heard some bad things about him before uh, that injury. So I get Ridley there as a pretty good uh, fourth guy to have. Uh, never a bad idea to add talent. And I kind of wish I maybe got a running back because I, I love the wideouts on the board here for me. And running back, well, actually, ah, boy, this is tough too. I'm going to go – I'm going to get Javante Williams here uh, because – actually, no. No, it's time for Jake Ferguson. It is tight end time. There it is. Okay. So we didn't hold off quite as long on quarterback as I would ideally prefer to get the best roster starting lineup. But we did make up for that a little bit with uh, Jake Ferguson. Not bad. Not bad at all. So now we're good – uh, at all the skill positions in terms of having one guy and we can be a little bit more flexible. Oh boy. Uh, it's either Watson or Spears and I love them both. I'm going to have to go Spears because I have Jameson Williams potentially in my back pocket is, is, is very uh, Watson esque, if you will. Uh, let's see if he makes it to me. I think he did. Uh, so I like that a lot. Great pick. Upside, boom, there it is. At 110 overall, feeling really good about that pick right there as my fifth receiver. 
So now I'm, I've pretty much kind of made up a little bit of running back with Spears because I love Spears. Uh, so now I maybe do need to go running back again. Uh, I see my guy Chase Brown just went off the board, which is a buzzkill. So I am in BPA mode, and I do believe that is a wide receiver. Love Khalil Shakir, uh, and I love Josh Palmer. So I'm going to go Shakir, and well, I guess I can't get them both. Uh, we'll have an embarrassment of Richards, but Khalil Shakir as my sixth receiver is pretty darn good. Would be nice to get a running back here to just – it does dry up. So maybe I should have gone a little heavier in running back in retrospect because now the best player on the board is wide receiver. There's there's so many wide receivers. So I guess the one slight adjustment, if I can look back almost live here, maybe I should have taken, let's see before, James or Jonathan Brooks uh, before I took Ridley uh, or uh, – Javante, basically. Maybe I should have taken Javante there instead of Calvin Ridley. Uh, and then I would have had Jamison as my fourth receiver, Jamison Williams. Khalil Shakir is my fifth. That's that's not too shabby. But I will just suck it up and go with Josh Palmer. Uh, so now I'm pretty loaded at receiver at the detriment of my running back group. And frankly, I did this before uh, with Todd Spears. I just love him so much uh, that I feel confident that he's going to come through. Well, now I am, again, a little light at running back. I mean, do I want to make up for it here? Not really. I'll probably take Ray Davis late. Um, so now I could well, – well, you know I'm going to take Tyler Conklin. I've been taking him if you've been watching all these videos. So now I'm kind of in no man – Oh well, well, actually, we are not in no man's land. We could just take Tyler Conklin here if I really wanted to. Uh, I'll just do that just to get that out of the way and get this thing progressing. Could have got Tyler Conklin in the 14th round. But I do love Tyler Conklin this year as a great pick as a tight end, too. Starter, here we go. In the draft, is there a running back to even – yeah, Ray Davis. That's it. Ray Davis uh, to, to at least give myself a fourth running back with a chance. And I do like Ray Davis a lot. Uh, really good guy. Met him at the Combine, interviewed him, one of the greatest guys you'll ever meet, uh, as far as I could tell, uh, in a brief interaction. But a great story about him. And I also watched him live at the Senior Bowl this year, and he was great catching passes. I think he's probably uh, maybe a better receiver uh, than James Cook. So let's take a look at the squad here. Looking at the starting lineup, I would say this is pretty terrific. Uh, Anthony Richardson, and then we're going to go Brees Hall with Ramondre. Wideouts are Olave, Debo, and Skinny Batman. We've got Jake Ferguson, my best value at tight end, in the TE spot. And then with two flexes, it'll likely be Calvin Ridley and Tajay Spears, but we also have a bench of Jamison Williams, Khalil Shakir, Josh Palmer. Uh, we also have Tyler Conklin, who I love, as my tight end too. And then Ray Davis, pretty good RB4. Now, uh, very balanced team as always. Maybe not quite as balanced as I'd like to see at running back with only two running backs taken in the first eight rounds. So maybe that was a little bit of a regret there. Or maybe I should have used like a, you know, like a, a tenth rounder on a running back. Of course, I mean, I don't know, Gus Edward, maybe Brian Robinson would have been pretty good. Uh, but overall, I like the squad, a lot of firepower. I didn't bother with a, a backup quarter, quarterback there, which of course is very – much needed with Anthony Richardson, but uh, we'll be fine. We can work on the waiver wire. Hell, we can even go Joe Flacco if absolutely positively needed, but pretty good example, a little different than other other drafts. I'm not taking Jordan Love in every single draft. I think Anthony Richardson with the seventh pick of round number five was pretty darn solid. I think that's a good team build and a good approach at seven. Get a running back. If you get a crack at Brees Hall, B. John Robinson, Jameer Gibbs, or Jonathan Taylor, I would advise you go that route. Know that you have a Drake London or a Chris Olave uh, on the back end there, uh, on the hook, so to speak, there in the top half of round number two. I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Good luck in all your fantasy drafts. And of course, once again, keep liking, subscribing. Give us a good comment, help out our YouTube page, and you're welcome.